through stutter. Okay, three nine sixteen. That was another one we gotta check. Three nine sixteen oh. stutter. Right there. Okay, see that right there? See how it kind of just it's a it's about it should just dissolve into blood, right? And for some reason it pops back up again. That should have been that could have been a little bit smoother. See how it comes back and goes back down again? That could have just like flit, faded out. It would have been a lot, it would be a lot cleaner. Eric B. Ramsey is a model, actor, producer, and director from Rosedale, Alabama. Eric is one of nine children. He was drafted to Auburn University as a defensive back in the early 1990s. He used a tape recorder to secretly record conversations between his football coaches regarding an illicit player payment scheme. This is where the trouble began. For top college football teams, everything's coming up. Roses, oranges, even gators in end-of-the-year bowl games where colleges make millions when their teams play on national TV. But remember, college football is an amateur sport. Players are not supposed to get paid, but some do. The National Collegiate Athletic Association has had to double its staff of investigators to examine reports of players getting money under the table. One player who admits he got paid is Eric Ramsey of Auburn. And to prove it, he secretly recorded conversations he had with assistant coaches and alumni. This fall, Ramsey began releasing parts of the transcripts. Tonight, for the first time, the actual tapes. Auburn University football brings in $18 million a year, and it's now in jeopardy because of Eric Ramsey. Ramsey grew up in a poor section of Birmingham, surrounded by gangs and crime. He stayed out of trouble and dreamed of playing pro football. He became the most valuable player on his high school team. Ramsey won a football scholarship to Auburn Eric Ramsey played defensive back through 1990. Ramsey claims because he was a black player at a white university, he was treated like a piece of meat used to win football games but discouraged from getting an education. Ramsey says he resented that, so he decided to make the tapes. In his senior year, Eric Ramsey wrote a term paper about racism at Auburn, charging that being a black athlete here is a living hell. He says whites ridiculed him for that, so he decided to release the tape. Over the past 25 years, uh, NCAA rules continue to be broken uh, by colleges like Auburn. You know, after I left over 10, 11 of the SEC schools, um, they were put on probation for the same doing the same thing um, and again the beneficiaries of these illegal benefits are blacks and blacks are punished for them even though we're the ones performing on the football field um, one of the biggest statements that I made is that athletes should be paid because you know most of us are from low social economic backgrounds and we are deserving of this money that we create for the universities which uh, back even when I played at Auburn reached um, it was $18 million a year on football alone. Imagine the revenue and all the money that has been made by coaches, you know, who have seven-figure salary. And the players who perform on the football field, they can't even uh, get $200 in order to uh, take a plane trip home. So pretty much the same thing is happening still. The rules still haven't been changed, and the athletes are still, you know, getting uh, these illegal, that, these benefits that the NCAA have deemed illegal. But they're, um, the reason I, they're the reason that I call it uh, the 100-yard lie because of the millions and billions of dollars that the universities are making off the backs of these athletes, in which, like back in the day, slaves did all the labor and the owners got all the, um, the pay. And that's the same thing that's happening now. In 2005, Eric relocated to Los Angeles, California, where he quickly found his other talents from filmmaking. Eric wrote, directed, and executive produced Cannibal, a modern-day version of the biblical story about Adam and Eve's sons. Later, he wrote Old Bryce starring Tom Sizemore. 
a true story about a psychiatrist named Dr. Feldman who experimented on black people looking to find the cure to mental illness causing most of them to die. Don't open the door! Yeah, you better stop it! You're scaring us! What the hell is old Bryce? That place used to be a place for crazy white folks. But now they use it to take regular black folk who ain't crazy. There is just no stopping this creative genius. While one film is still in the festivals, Eric is currently working on his new film, in the company uh, of assassins. The next project I'm trying to, we're, we're thinking about going between uh, a horror movie. Mm. I mean, that's going to be one extreme, another <laughs> extreme. Exactly. So a horror movie, and then we possibly think, I'm thinking about, um, I have a lot of um, female friends that are, that are into like martial arts or combat mm. kind of stuff. Mm. So I'm thinking about doing a female assassin movie mm. where uh, like they're like the last um, people on earth, to, you know, yeah. not the last people on earth, but the last people, last assassins. Right. And so it's only, so one, true it's only one job left and someone has to get it. So it's like wow. eight of them, they have to compete with two of them. So you're going to get it. Wow. <laughs>